Hey everyone, this is Mrs. York. So we are going to be making stress balls today as an activity. Um, this is something you can do with a parent or guardian or a sibling. Um, so let's show you how we do it. So first you're gonna need is a balloon. Okay, that is the first material you're gonna need. Then you're gonna need a spoon, some tape, scissors, and a half sheet of paper of some some type. It doesn't have to be notebook paper. It could just be construction paper or whatever paper you got laying around. And then you're going to need something to fill your stress ball with. I'm going to be using rice, um, but you can also use flour. Um, you can use like popcorn kernels, um, get creative with it, whatever you have, beans. I've seen all kinds of things. Um, later, I'm going to have you guys try to post a picture if you can. Um, of what you did okay so first what you're going to do is you're going to stretch out the balloon because it's kind of tight when you first get them out of the packaging i got mine at walmart in the um party supplies area pretty cheap so and then you can make several of them because you get a whole bag um so you're gonna do that then you're gonna blow it up a little bit let out the air Earlier, when I was trying to film this, I blew it and it went in my face and it was a mess. So, point it away from you. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make your funnel. Because trying to scoop little bits of stuff in there is just going to make a huge mess, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to get the half sheet of paper. You're going to put your finger in the corner. You're going to roll it around like this. Get it kind of tight, wrap it tight around your finger. And you have a little flap over here. And once you get that flap, hold on, I just made it loose because I'm trying to do too many things at once. You're gonna get your tape. And take your little piece of tape. And you're gonna tape down that little flap, okay? And you can spread it out up at the top. I cut mine at the top just to make it a, <clears throat> a little better. Okay, so you're gonna make a skinnier on the bottom and then bigger at the top. So then you're gonna take the top of your balloon. See how since you stretched out and blew it out, it's a little, it's open. You can kind of see the bottom right there. So you're gonna put your little funnel at the very top. See how it seals around it. You still need to hold on to it because otherwise it could get messy. So this might be where you use a partner to help you. Then you're gonna take your material you're filling with it and put it through the top so this may take a little bit of time and then shake it to kind of get that down at the bottom see I've got some of it in there and then you're just gonna fill it to your desired amount I also put a trash bag underneath on a t the table I'm using just for extra caution so you don't make as big of a mess. See, I'm starting to get more in there. So you're just going to keep filling it until you feel that it is good. Like I said, you can use anything to fill this up. Oops. I'm kind of a messy person, so I'm still making a little bit of a mess. So, Oop, fell out. Now, if you have a funnel that uh, laying around, like for oil that your parents have used, that might go a little better than our paper one, but I don't have one, so I uh, made my own here. Okay. Oop. Keep going. Okay, make sure I get this all in here, and then you may need to blow it up a little bit, just to make some room, because it gets a little full, and continue to fill it, fill it up. See, because it gets up in this tube area, so you got to blow periodically in there to make sure it goes in the 
more can go in there just so you can have a bigger stress ball. See? Nice and squishy. Then you're going to take the top, stretch this out. You may need help with a older sibling or um, an adult just to do this part because I know it took me a while to figure out how to tie one of these balloons. But see, got it all squishy and it's nice and squishy. And I am going to draw a face on mine just because, well, I'm extra like that. So what are you going to do? I'm going to make mine whenever I'm angry or stressed or whatever I may be feeling. I'm going to draw a little smiley face and I'm going to add some eyelashes because it's a pink balloon. So I'm going to make it girly. And a little smiley face. So this is my stress ball. Um, please post down below um, of your stress balls and show me what you made it with. Show me how it went. Um, and then next week, tune in and we'll do another activity. All right. Bye-bye.